Welcome back, everyone, to another episode under the sun. Here we are, in despair. We are not jumping through the air. I have no idea where I'm going with this song. No, I don't. Oh, I can't. Oh, hello. Mr. Sutherland, you have very nice pants. I'm singing all around. I'm singing for the crown. There's you and your person. And we're not gonna do this with uh, something that rhymes with person. So here we are, running around, running around in crazy circles. I have no idea what we're going to do about it. Do do. Uh huh. Okay. So that was interesting. <clears throat> we are back for another episode of uh, this series, and we're going to play the next episode called Saturday's Child. This one is kind of uh, interesting. It's not too long, pretty short, but uh, got an interesting kind of end to it. So let's hit it. I said let's hit it. Go down to it. Where are you? There you are. Starfleet desperately needs the resources of a world dominated by a tribal culture. Win them to your side before the Klingons do. Which is odd, because if they are a tribal culture and not aware of warp drive, why are we in contact with them and stealing their resources? That makes no sense at all. But let's do it anyway. The Aslysians are independent from the Ryman Star Empire hundreds of years ago. They are some of the fiercest warriors in the galaxy, with technology that was far beyond what the Klingons, Romans, or the Federation had at the time. Oh, well, that explains it. <laughs> they could have become a major power in their own right. Instead, when they realized that the warlike ways, blah, 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 they rejected technology, blah, 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 and now they're stone people. Okay, um, cool. We've got a armor thingy, the jiggy. Let's do this thing. I believe in a future episode I will show you guys the bridge. <laughs> I have to first equip my bridge because uh, I don't even have a bridge selected right now. So if I went to the bridge right now, it would just be the standard default bridge of my ship, which would be ugly and pointless. So I've got to select a bridge. But first, let's do this. Go to that. Uh, and you know what? I have no idea where this is. I need to go to Alpha Centauri, I bet, don't I? Cool. Let's go to uh, this system. Oh, you're way over there in a little corner space. Far, far away from everything and everyone and everybody and everything. Oh, we've got a long flight ahead of us. Please put your tray tables in an upright position and seat backs to their full position. Thank you. Oh boy. Wish we could go faster. <laughs> well, we could actually. We could transwarp directly there, which will cost energy credits. But, uh, why do that when you can just fly there and take a little time? What did that say? Seven of nine is hot? 
Okay. Bum 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 as the kids yell in the back seat. Almost. Let's see if there's any Diplo. No Diplo uh, Toth missions right now for us in this part of space. Come on. Almost there. Almost there. And here we are. Alright, now let's patrol the system. We gotta patrol nav beacons. There's the first one. Uh oh. Let me show you guys what. Um, I've never explained what this does right here. Tactical Team 1. See how I'm taking damage to my forward shields so if I hit this? It auto-balances my shields, and now you can see they're all shooting my forward shields, and it's auto-balancing the shields around to that side for uh, 10 seconds. Tactical Team 1 is really all you need. It's a um, very, very, very good power. Um, you can read right there, distributes shield strength to shields receiving damage for 10 seconds. And that is uh, very useful, as you saw, because I didn't have to do anything. My shields were automatically rotating to the front, which was taking the damage. So that's a very um, useful power I like to have on any ship that I fly. Tactical Team 1. But specifically for a cruiser, it'll really help you um, last longer. And again, um, Polarized Hull allows uh, immunity to tractor beams for 15 seconds. So when the Romulans hit you with their cloaking tractor beam, or any tractor beam from any race really, um, you just hit Polarized Hull and you can um, fly right around them. They're not, they don't, uh, they don't cause, um, they don't cause, they don't hold you in space. So, um, 
So that's very useful for that. So that's why picking your powers, you see, is very is is, is uh, kind of useful depending on who you're fighting. Because the Romulans, they love the tractor beams, and when you get to the Borg, they like tractor beams too. So polarized hull is always useful. Um, if you're fighting like an escort, I would get hazard emitters when you start fighting the Romulans because they hit you with those plasma torpedoes like you've been seeing and on an escort they'll just uh, decimate your hull so you will want hazard emitters to clear them away and see how he's got me with this um, power if I hit my science I can um, make that go away. I used to think those DDs, uh, Daredex, or however you pronounce it were hard to take down when I first started playing this game. But um, you just keep to one side of them, keep firing, keep yourself healed up, and um, you can take them down. We found the Romulans, they're engaged in combat with uh, Klingon ships. So, we got got to destroy everybody now. planet now. This is the last, almost the last part of the mission. Ground, ground part. So this is the Elysian. The princess. Princess Sina. Greetings, brave Federation warrior. I welcome you to our home. How can we help? Escort the princess to her village. And along the way, there will be Klingons. Oh, by the way, I did equip my bridge officers with um, tribbles. I got some free tribbles from the last couple of missions that bred in my inventory, so. I gave them some. So as I was saying, um, I got some free tribbles. They, I had a tribble in my inventory that bred with some food and created some tribbles. So there's a tribble on her and a tribble on him and a tribble on him and a tribble on her. So they've all they're all tribbled up.
see combat uh, moves so fast in this game. I don't even have time to set down a turret. There's no reason to. Turrets are kind of just outdated now. I mean, that with the speed at which you um, move through these ground missions, it's almost pointless to set up turrets now. <laughs> That's why I like the, uh, the drones. The drones follow you. So you can deploy them and they'll just follow you wherever you go. To each group. That's it, basically, for this mission. Almost at the end now. Gotta wait for Cena, the princess. is very slow. You can you can hear them all using their tribbles. I'm gonna turn down the volume just a little bit. It's kind of loud in my ear. Okay, come on, princess. Hurry up. Okay, speak to Admiral Akar. How can we help? We're at a critical point, and I think uh, you could help. We need to convince the Chief Elder of the uh, favor. You have some influence over him. We just saved his daughter's life. Please, Chief, please speak with the Elder Chief. And now the Chief. You have my thanks. Um, the prophecies left by our ancestors say that a star will fall from the sky today. Your mighty empire should fly through the heavens. What will you do to help us? Well, we have to defeat the uh, sky demon now. That's, uh, that's what we'll do to help you, apparently. And, um, and there's a Klingon ship in my way, of course. That is the Sky Demon, which is an asteroid headed for the planet. First, we're going to take out the King. Uh, the king is hailing us. You've won this day, so they're fleeing, and now we have to destroy the sky demon.
that's it. Hail the Admiral. Admiral of Carr, the uh, Massilians have agreed to sign the trade agreement. This is a great day for the Federation. We have the Topoline we need, and we've made a few friends. And that's it. Saturday's Child done. As I warp inside the planet. Very simple, easy, quick mission. Let's take the uh, energy dampening armor. Let's put that on. Let's see. You are... You're okay for right now. You've got a thing. you got a thing. Who am I missing? you got a thing. Might as well put it on my... Uh, Anar. Stop. Go away. There you go. Okay, so now I will uh, need to sell that stuff, but I'll do that later. Um, okay, cool. That is Saturday's Child, and I will see you guys for the next episode.